Hello everyone and welcome to another Heffy Doodle video. Today we are playing with Heffy Doodle's Big Bold Words and Everyday Sentiment Duos. We also have some alcohol inks and some alcohol blending solution and a straw. But I'm super excited to play with alcohol lift ink. And some new Yupo paper, heavyweight Yupo paper and foil tape sheets that I didn't get around to playing with in this video, but I will soon. I am going to get out my black Epicurean board. I'm going to secure a piece of that heavyweight Yupo paper with it, with some purple tape. This is my hairdryer. I cannot remember when I bought it or how much I paid for it. I've had it a long time, <gasps> but um, <sighs> don't look at the back. Mm -mm. We don't need to look at the back, but we need, do need to make sure that the hairdryer that we're using has a cool air setting like this one does. We're going to use some of that alcohol ink blending solution on this Yubo paper, which this was actually a mistake because I'm getting ready to apply some alcohol ink to it, which is normal, but eventually that excess blending solution is gonna dry up. So make sure also that your hair dryer has a level set because gonna blow things all over the place. After blowing blending solution and alcohol ink all over the place, I turned down my hair dryer also. So it's on the cool setting and on the lightest setting possible. Now I'm applying some alcohol ink to the Yupo paper, but I didn't add enough blending solution. So it wasn't getting as much movement as I, as it was at the beginning. So then I started to add blending solution and then drops of alcohol ink and then hitting it with the hair dryer on the cool setting, remembering not to blow it all over the place. But I did almost manage to break a very expensive camera. So now I am adding blending solution, adding drops of the alcohol ink, and then hitting it with the cool light setting of the hair dryer. And I'm just doing this with each color that I decided to pick out today. I will have a list of all the colors on my blog. Here is a little picture in picture of me applying the alcohol inks and all the movement that I am doing and keeping the hair dryer good distance apart while still getting some movement from the inks before they dry. And this was actually really quite fun and I'm definitely thinking about getting a hair dryer for my craft room. So I'm adding the darkest color on the piece right now and I'm trying to keep my distance with the hair dryer and giving it some movement as well as drying it and I'm going to carefully peel the tape away from this background and take it over and let it give some time to dry as long as possible anyway and I'm going to do it all over again just a little bit magical this time. Mm -hmm. So this is what the background turned out to look like, and then I cut it down. <laughs> so yeah, I know I hate cutting down beautiful backgrounds like this, but I needed to make a smaller card panel. So now I've taken the hooray from the big uh, bold words stamp set, and I've mounted it in the Misty on in position where I want to lift the ink off. I've added the lift ink to my stamp, and I've even give it a look, given it a little more pressure than normal with the brayer. And this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna take the corner of a paper towel and I'm going to dab where the lift ink was applied, and then I'm going to uh, like rub where the lift ink was applied. Now this is where it's fairly important that your alcohol inks are fairly dry because I learned my lesson and I'll show you in a minute. Now I also learned that this is Nina 110 that I'm mounting in the Misty. I think I would have had much more success if I had used a glossy paper, like a Ranger Yupo paper. 
So I'm not real impressed with how this stamped on the Nina paper. So I'm loading the alcohol inked background that I just lifted with the ink. I'm applying more lift ink to the stamp that I haven't moved out of the Misty and I'm reapplying the lift ink the same exact way to see if I can lift more ink, okay? So this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna stamp down the lifted ink onto the white paper, which I still, I think that would have been more successful with the glossy paper, but this is Nina. This is what it looks like. It's not too bad, but I'm going to dab and then rub where I lifted the ink to get that excess lift ink off of it. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool, pretty crisp and clear. And you can read that it says, hooray. This I'm not real happy with. So I'm gonna take the other side of the rainbow piece, the alcohol inked background, and I'm gonna steal some ink from it. So I've lifted, I've put lift ink on my stamp. I'm stamping it down and braying it, taking that ink off of that piece. And I don't really much care about that piece loading the Nina piece back in the same exact position and stamping down the lifted ink from the other side of the piece. Now this will have all the colors of the rainbow in it, which will make my husband very happy. So I'm fairly happy with the way this has turned out. I like the way that it looks. So I'm going to set this aside for now and I'm going to get the other piece that I created first that has had a lot, much longer time to dry and it's still not dry so I'm hitting it with the hair dryer once more to try to get it good and dry. So I've loaded the Hello You from the big bold words stamp set and I'm taking a little bit of cotton and some rubbing alcohol and I'm just cleaning off the dye. I've used this dye to cut down my alcohol ink piece and I'm getting the excess alcohol ink off of the dye that way. I'm loading the lift ink onto the Hello You stamp and I'm lifting the ink off of this piece the same exact way as we just did with the eye the other way. I'm adding a little bit more pressure and this is kind of what it looked like. I did end up doing this like three or four times and I'm not going to make you sit and watch it again. But so this is what it stamped down on the first time. Um, I let it marinate and we are dabbing the excess lift ink off and then rubbing. And I think because the ink was still kind of wet, everything looked a little pink. Um, this is what it looked like after I uh, did it about three or four times. So I am grabbing the Simon Says Stamp Fog Ink and I'm gonna add, after I clean my stamp really well, I'm gonna add the fog ink to the stamp and stamp it down over top of the lifted ink onto the Nina paper to give it a little more oomph, a little more oomph. And so I did that twice and that was enough oomph for me. All in all, I think it turned out really lovely. Here is a picture of all four of the card panels uh, I created. We've got some Simon Says Stamp Fog cards bases. We're using the Everyday Sentiment Duos by Heffy Doodle, and we're going to emboss those on some Lawn Fawn Black Licorice cardstock. I'm going to mount that into the Misty and stamp all four sentiments at one time because I like to party. I'm not taking much time at all to line these up. I'm going to end up using the Heffy Doodle Strips of Ease dies to cut out these sentiments. So I'm just putting them in there somewhat straight. And then I'm going to uh, heat up my heat tool. I've turned it on. And now we're going to prep with the EK Success Powder Tool the whole piece because we're stamping all of them at the same time. We're going to use the tiniest little Versa mark for this whole entire piece and we're gonna stamp it twice. I definitely stamped it twice. And then we're gonna use Ranger uh, White Embossing Powder. We're gonna cover the entire card front with this, get all the sentiments that I've chosen. I got a great shot of the heat embossing here. I swear that never gets old. It is amazing. Sometimes when you're heat embossing a large piece of paper like this, you're going to get some warpage of your paper. I like to give it a little massage to try to see if it'll act right, but if it doesn't, I'll just make it suffocate under something heavy for a few minutes. 
let that give some time and then usually it straightens up. Just like I said earlier, I'm going to use the largest of the Heffy Doodle Strips of Ease dies to cut out all four sentiments. I cut it out once close to one end of the sentiment and then I line it up, make sure it's lined up correctly. Uh, use some washi tape to keep it in place and then cut it out once more and there you go a perfectly aligned sentiment I do that for all four of these sentiments Whenever you feel like you're not sure what to do about a sentiment emboss white on black it is bold it is stunning and it looks good with so many different types of cards so if you don't know what to do about it, your sentiment Heat emboss white on black, and there you go. Problem solved. So now that I have all four sentiments nicely cut out, let's put together these cards. I am using double-sided adhesive and craft foam to mount the front panels that I created with the alcohol ink. The sentiment strips are getting popped up with Scotch 3M foam tape. And that's how I did for all four of these cards. Still not dry. Even after all that time, that panel was still a little bit wet. I couldn't believe it. So I have to have some patience when I do this. Um, I'm popping up each of those sentiment panels with their uh, court or sentiment strips with their coordinating panel. I think this one's my favorite, the hooray. I think that one's my favorite of the group. Leave me a comment down below. Which one did you like the best out of all four? That probably is a little crooked. I don't care. I still like it. It's still my favorite. So here they are all together. Oh, here they are. Find me or Heffy Doodle on social media. We would love to connect more with you there. And I'll talk to you next time. Why do I always do that? What? You? Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs>